guys, Jess here, and welcome to my Mod Mod World. Today we're going to be taking things a little easy and we're just gonna go see what's going on in the village because I know Professor Modzilla, ooh, that little chunk of world right there isn't loaded, let me load that. Um, I know Professor Modzilla is probably up to no good as usual because it seems that every time he gets his hands on a mod, he likes to make a whole catastrophe and that does not look good at all. So let's go see what's going on over there. That looks like a beacon, I'm pretty sure that's a beacon. It looks like a lot of beacons actually. So let's go see what's going on with Professor Mozilla and the villagers and the mayor and everyone else involved in the village and all its shenanigans. Um, so today we're going to be looking into a very interesting mod. At least I hope I can look into it because there's a lot going on and I'm just going to get to Professor Mozilla and see what he has to say about all of this going on currently because, ooh, look at that. It looks like the lab is repaired at least. Oh, that's right. I don't have to worry about that. And yeah, the lab is repaired. Nice. This guy works really Really fast, and there's a little Tommy there with his little teddy bear. Professor Mozilla, what's going on? Afmal, just the lovely, beautiful ray of sunshine, shining sunshine. I was looking. Wow, he's actually. It's very flattering. Yeah, you should keep going, actually. But but see, why? Yeah, yeah. There's a catch. Why are you being so nice to me? Because my sweet smelling flower of the utmost beauty. Wow, this is this is man. This is this is a lot of compliments here. I have a little experiment I would like to ask for your assistance in. Yeah, I don't want to be turned into a hot mob or anything. Yeah, I will not date you. Are you are you paying for dinner? Actually, that's not about it's not a bad one. Are you paying for dinner? Because I like free dinner. Um I knew it was too good to be true. Uh uh I, I feel like I would say I knew it was too good to be true, but I I'm not gonna date you. Date? Ha! I told you last time after the cute mobs mod incident, I'm not into relationships right now, since I have better things to worry about, like science. Uh, so let's hear it, what is it, or well, you have your science. You and your science have a nice date, yeah, you have a nice date with your hot science, but no, what is it, what is it, just tell me what it is. So I've been doing some research lately, and I'm going to be frank with you. The world is on the brink of the apocalypse. I've been studying the influx of mobs on the world and I can feel it. The end is nay. <laughs> That's the sound a horse makes. <laughs> or, okay, what, yeah, what is your solution, Professor Mozilla? Solution? Oh yes, I was going to get to that. I have this device right now. It's a cell that will give you superpowers. Maybe even godlike powers. Woo. Yeah, how do I know this is going to work? Last time you did some half mouse, seriously, what could go wrong? The last experiment, I was able to turn the mobs back to normal, and even when the experiment went wrong, the girls turned out hot. So what's the worst that can happen? Trust me, I guess I could turn it to... Well, I mean, I'm already a hot girl. <laughs> All right, calm down me. Um, it's er, If it's to save the world, fine. All right, but you owe me a pizza or no, I'm out. Uh... <sighs> You know what? I'll participate in his little in his little experiment. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, if it's to save the world, fine. Great. All you have to do is step into that machine. Go on, try it. All, all right. Um, but I there's like glass here, so I don't know how I'm gonna get in there. But Tommy, Tommy, how, what's going on? Hi, Afmal. I'm really excited to see if my dad's machine works. You are so brave for trying it. When I grow up, I want to be just like you, instead of my dad, who because I'm his clone, pretty much I'm. I'm pretty much destined to grow up to be er anyway, I'm still excited. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I guess we step on in here. Uh ooh, ooh, I can go through this. Yeah, awesome. All right. So how how do I activate this exactly? How do I Wait, wait, wait. What? Okay, wait a minute. Whoa, what was that? Seriously. Where's my hand? Oh my god, professor. I think my hand came off of this. What did you do to me? What the heck? It doesn't seem like you can understand what is being said in your current form. What exactly? What? What? <gasps> I'm so cute! Oh my gosh, look how cute I am! I'm an alpaca! Which means the professor didn't predict the apocalypse, he predicted the alpacalypse. Uh, okay, alright, well Tommy, how about you, can you understand what- Ah, uh, same thing, it doesn't seem like- yeah, okay, it's the same thing, Tommy. Aw, oh, man, are you serious? There's gotta be notes on this, give me- give me them notes. Um, you realize you- wait, what? Oh no, you realize you are a alpaca and you can't read. No! Okay, all right, um, let's see. Professor, do you have like anything in here that maybe, maybe, maybe you prepared me for this or something? Like maybe, uh, I mean, I got cookies, 
I got, um, cookies and I got, um, let's see, uh, do I have anything else? Well, at least I'm a cute alpaca. Uh, ooh, nice, nice, nice. There's a bunch of awesome stuff in here and I'm taking it. I don't care if you need this, Professor Mazzola, but I'm, I'm gonna need this a little bit more than you do. Um, and plus, you kind of just, you know, got rid of my little hand here and it, it, I, I don't appreciate that very much. Um, let's see, uh, what, what can we do here? Um, oh, this is actually a good representation of the mods that are in this little mod pack that I have and they aren't like really they haven't been a spotlight yet so angel ring that's from um extra utilities the reading glasses this is from bibliocraft and the backpacks is basically from the more backpack stuff um so let's all right so now that I'm in oh <gasps> I have the very but wings I have Wings! I can fly! Oh my gosh, this is too cute! This is too cute! Now, from what I understand about the, um, alpaca mod is that, um, you- it, it basically just turns every player into a little alpaca, and of course that's on your side. Not everybody sees themselves as a little alpaca, but you can see everyone is an alpaca, and you could be super adorable. And the color of the alpaca you can't customize just yet, or else I would be a purple alpaca, but... What you can do is it's based on your Minecraft name, so I don't know how the formula works for that exactly, but I know if you have a certain kind of name, you get a certain kind of color. So the only way to change the color is to change your name, which I don't think is worth it. I'll stay as a cute little blue llama. So let's get out of here and see what is Dixie. Hello, Dixie. What, what? I can talk to Dixie. Ma Master, why are you like that? Holy cow, I can, yeah, I can understand you. Holy science science biscuits. Holy science diet biscuits, you can talk to me. What does that mean? What is- yeah, what does this mean? This is totally not a promotional for science diet! <laughs> Pet food. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god, what does this mean? Why did you go inside a machine the doctor bought from an alpaca merchant? Yeah, since- when do alpaca merchants sell science machines? Oh my god, that's a wall of text. Um, I don't know about how humans act, but I kind of thought this was going to happen seeing as a science machine was intended to give people the DNA of any animal that was inside of it prior. Not to mention, the scientist is absolutely ignorant to the fact that the aim of the quantum gravity is only to describe the quantum behavior of the gravitational field and should not be confused with the objective- What the- Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't need to know what he's saying here, Dixie. I don't need this right now. Um, yeah, okay, stop my brain. Um... Oh, well, I mean, bark, bark, um, for change to happen, bark, bark, you have to feed on at least 10 bodies of anything or anyone and you'll be back to normal. What? Huh. Really? What? Alpacas are a brutal species, even if they are cute as heck. Better get to chomping, bark, bark. Oh, thank, thanks, Dixie. Well, I mean, I'm glad Dixie knows, uh, I don't even know if Dixie's like a guy or a girl, but I'm glad that Dixie knows their science knows her science i'm calling her her for right now until i know what dixie is dixie can, can you tell me like what you are like do i have to look at your butt or something anyway um what about what about the villagers maybe they'll maybe they'll be able to understand me uh it doesn't seem like you could yeah okay so i can't understand what's being said in the all right how about you donut officer it doesn't seem like you can understand what, oh god i'm still getting the same message maybe the mayor maybe the mayor will be able to help me uh mayor what's going on uh that's not the mayor Where, where's the mayor at oh this is the guy uh, let's see, the, 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 no. reputation, you can't understand him in your current form, but you understand? Okay, kind of, um, mayor's hot girlfriend, no, no, I can't understand anybody, not even the grocer who I said I was going to try to help out, and, no, I can't, no, yeah, I can't understand him, wow, wow, I thought I was gonna be able to walk up to him and be like, I cannot understand him, and he would be able to talk to me, but I guess not. All right, so we got to go and destroy, um, oh, look, the armor appears on the alpacas. This is so cute. And I can fly with the wings from Bibliocraft. But yeah, so the alpaca mod, you can be a little llama in. And I think, I think to get purple, your name has to start with a C or something. I'm not sure. At least that's what I realized. But my name starts with an A and I'm a blue little llama, so... It's just, it's just, <laughs> look at my little legs and I can fly. All right, so I gotta kill, and, and, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get this stuff. I gotta kill, I gotta take my little sword, which I can hold like this. Oh my god, this is so cute. I got little butt fairy wings, and I got, ah, this is so cute. All right, so I gotta go and destroy ten things in order to turn back. Wait, where's the chicken around here? Where's the chicken at? Where'd that chicken go? Where, where's, I hear it. I hear it somewhere. 
Uh, this is actually kind of nice that I get the little fairy butt wings. This is so adorable. I'm, I'm really liking this. This is a park ranger. Hey, can you understand me? Actually, there's a chicken. I'm going to get that. Ah, nobody can understand me and I can't understand them. All right, chicken, die. All right, now the cool thing about the alpaca mod is that when you kill something, all you have to do is you see like a little corpse. Now the alpacas can actually feed on those corpses. Even though we're super adorable. Now watch, watch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. No, Twitch broadcasting, stop that. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go like this. I ate that chicken corpse like a brutal alpaca. So I guess I have to just devour their souls or something um, with my cute little alpaca face. Uh, beware the alpaca. Yay, yeah, look at my little itty bitty eye, it's too cute. Okay, all right, so let's, let's see, that's one. Uh, maybe maybe if I uh, I tickle something with the feather. It, night, when nighttime comes around, I should be able to just like um, breeze through a bunch of, of like mobs and stuff. But I mean, I, I mean, I could go like all, you know, um, alpaca, you know, like brutal on the villagers if I really wanted to. But let's try to look around for some more chickens and cows and pigs and stuff to just like myrtleize. I'm not gonna go too far from the village, but I'm I'm gonna go like a decent way out to see if this this thing that Dixie told me would work. What is that? That looks like a flower. That's like a flower. I just love my butt wings. Ah, there's a sheep. Sheep, prepare to meet your doom. <laughs> To the fairy, vampire, adorable, I, I just love looking at myself. No, sheep, don't take my, don't take, can I, wait, can I wear my glasses? Now that I think about it? Aw, I can't wear glasses. Alright, that would have been adorable. <laughs> take that, sheep. I know, nature, nature is scary. Let's eat that, sheep. So, alright, that's two. One, two, now I just need some more. Oh, there's a bunch of flowers over here. This is the best. Alright, so let's see, uh, if there's anything else? No? Wait, oh, there's a chicken here. All right, we can kill this chicken. And then we will devour its soul. Devouring souls is an alpaca. I, that's got to be a song, like a heavy metal song. We get that going. Oh, yeah, this is it. was those three. Um, uh, where's, where'd that chicken body go? Oh, four. Uh, is that a, is that a squid? Oh, I can, I can do, I can eat squids. Let's see if squids are affected by the alpaca mod, which is really cool. Let's see. Squid is, nope, looks like squids aren't affected. It would be such a shame, Mayor, if an alpaca bit you. I'm sure that would ruin your reputation. And night. All right, let's go try to hunt for some, you know, th that's the best time for fairy alpacas to feed. That's the best time for fairy alpacas to feed on the souls of the innocent monsters that I will soon slay. And I have, I have, I can like swoop down like a bird of prey. Let's go. Let's see. Whoop. Aha. I'm assuming this is five. Uh, I'm, gonna see. I'm just gonna kill monsters. Let's see, five, six. There's a creeper. Seven. I think that's seven. I'm just gonna kill as many as I can. Let's see. Eight. Nine. <laughs> They're all gone. I mean, yes. Um, I think this is 10. Maybe 10 would work. I, I just ate that one, too. Oh, gosh. Park Ranger, how could you stay outside at night? I just don't know. I'm pretty sure I've eaten the, the amount of, 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 of mobs necessary in order to, to, to meet the requirements. So I don't understand why I haven't turned. Interesting. Maybe I have to do something special, like a little pack of dance maybe? Let's see. Do, do, do. What? What? Wow! Hey! I'm back to my normal self! Awesome! Alrighty, cool! So guys, that is it, and I can still fly too! Oh, it feels I still feel magical! Look at that! I feel beautiful! Sorry, zombies! Not today! Not this alpaca girl, or former alpaca girl, actually. I'm not really an alpaca anymore, but that little zombie's like, Why aren't you an alpaca? I'm gonna destroy you! Anyway, guys, that is the alpaca mod where you can turn you and your friends on your side of your client into a adorable little alpaca, and you can play mini games like that and see adorable little alpacas running around, and they're just super cute. Anyway, guys, if you are interested in that mod, it is absolutely down in the description below, along with the other mods that I referenced in this video, so if you wanted to experiment with those mods as well, well, you can feel free to. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Mod Mod World. And I'm going to hide in here. And then tomorrow, I'm going to go bop Professor Modzilla upside his head while Tommy's not looking. And then I'll probably take Tommy out to go do something tomorrow. Hopefully. Or next time. Anyway, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Bye bye Go away. I'm not a Zama anymore. Ah! I'll back up. Whatever. Ah!